Firstly, before we get into economic growth, we must outline what macroeconomics is. So macroeconomics is the study of a large economic system, such as that of a whole country. This looks at the total variables, such as the national output, inflation and economic policies. The aims of the government when managing an economy is known as the macroeconomic objectives. Some key macroeconomic objectives are economic growth, reducing unemployment, controlling inflation, maintaining balance of payments, redistribution of income and protection of the environment. Economic growth can be defined as the increase in the level of output by a nation. National income will rise when the economy grows. National income is the value of income, output or expenditure over a period of time. Economic growth can be measured using GDP. Gross domestic product is the market value of all final goods and services produced in a period, usually yearly. GDP includes only the final production of goods sold both domestically and overseas. GDP provides a clear snapshot of a country's economy and can be used to estimate the size of an economy and the growth rate. However, there are some limitations to using GDP to measure economic growth. GDP value could be increased due to inflated prices. A solution to this would be using real GDP, where the values are adjusted to inflation. GDP may be affected by population changes. A solution to this would be using GDP per capita, where the GDP value is divided by population. Statistical errors could occur due to the large amount of documents governments deal with to calculate GDP. Home produced goods and transactions in the hidden economy go unrecorded and do not contribute to GDP. Another limitation is that GDP does not measure living standards such as leisure time and quality of goods. Economic growth can be drawn in a diagram like this, called the economic cycle or the business cycle. There are four main stages in an economic cycle. The boom. This is when GDP is growing fast, profits are rising, businesses are expanding, demand is rising, wages and job opportunities are increasing, and the prices are rising. The downturn is when GDP is still growing but at a slower rate. Profits fall, businesses stop expanding, demand starts to fall, unemployment increases, and prices rise at a slower rate. During recession, GDP starts to fall, low profit and confidence, low demand, rise in unemployment, and prices start to fall. During the recovery period, GDP starts to rise again, profit and confidence rises, demand starts to rise, unemployment and wages rise, and prices rise again. Impacts of economic growth Unemployment is reduced as firms would be producing more output, so they would need more workers, thus increasing employment. Standard of living would increase as an increase in GDP means there is more income on average. So with more disposable income, people would be able to increase living standards by buying more and better quality services. They are also able to retire earlier. Economic growth helps reduce poverty as new job opportunities will be created. Governments would also get a rise in tax revenue and can be, which can be used to improve services for the poor. Economic growth raises productive potential meaning a country can produce more. This can be shown on a PPC like this. Some negative impacts are inflation, which would occur if an economy grows too fast. This is called overheat, where demand rises too fast, causing prices to rise dramatically. The environment would most likely be damaged due to economic growth because of pollution, greenhouse gases, etc. This is called unsustainable growth. 